Hey there, Future Cloud experts. Are you preparing for your GCP interview and feeling a bit nervous about those tough questions? Don't worry, because in this video from Simply Learn, we will be covering some top GCP questions that you might face in your interview. But first, let's see what is the role of a GCP engineer. So, a GCP or Google Cloud Platform engineer is responsible for designing, implementing and managing cloud-based solutions using GCP services and infrastructure. They use cloud computing, networking and security to build scalable and reliable systems to meet specific business needs. The interview panel will expect you to be familiar with topics like networking, security, automation and troubleshooting along with effective communication. Craving a career upgrade? Subscribe, like and comment below. Dive into the link in the description to fast track your ambitions. Whether you're making a switch or aiming higher, Simply Learn has your back. But before we begin, if you are interested in getting certified in these skills, do check out Simply Learn's Cloud Architect certification course. In this course, you will deal with AWS, Microsoft Azure, and Google Cloud Platform from beginner to advanced level. Through this course, you will gain proficiency in architectural design and deployment of highly scalable and resilient applications, making you job ready to transform yourself into a proficient cloud professional. And the best part, the program includes an Azure Exam voucher and 100% job assistance from Simply Learn. Check out the course link in the description and pinned comments below. Now, let's start with the first question. What is cloud computing? In simple terms, it's like outsourcing your computer needs to a remote internet connected service provider. So you can explain in this way. Cloud computing is a way of delivering computing services like servers, storage, databases, and software over the internet. Instead of keeping all these resources on your personal computer or local server, you access them remotely through the internet. It's like renting computing power and storage space on a massive shared network which offers benefits like scalability, flexibility, and cost effectiveness. We can also talk about different types of cloud computing, like private, public, hybrid, and multi. Now, let's move on to the next question. What do you know about Google Cloud Platform? Here, it's important to demonstrate your understanding of GCP's key components and its significance. GCP, or Google Cloud Platform, is a collection of cloud computing services provided by Google. It offers a wide range of services, including computing, storage, networking, databases, machine learning, and more, all hosted on Google's infrastructure. GCP allows businesses to build, deploy, and scale applications and services in a flexible and cost-effective manner. It is widely used by organizations of all sizes across various industries for hosting websites, running applications, analyzing data, and developing innovative solutions. Now, list few benefits and drawbacks of GCP. In this answer, make sure you provide a balance between the benefits and drawbacks that you mentioned. Here's how you can approach. Some of the benefits are high storage efficiency, stability, easy integration, confidential computing, security, and compute globally as per requirement. The drawbacks include complexity, support limitations, data transfer costs, and geographic restrictions. Now, let's see the next question. What are the main layers in cloud computing? You can start by naming the layers first and then briefly describe them. So the main layers of cloud computing are infrastructure as a service, platform as a service, and software as a service. So in infrastructure as a service, this layer provides virtualized computing resources over the internet, including virtual machines, storage, and networking infrastructure. Examples include AWS, Microsoft Azure, Google Compute Engine, etc. Now, Platform as a Service offers a platform allowing developers to build, deploy, and manage applications without worrying about underlying infrastructure. It includes tools and services like databases, development frameworks, and application hosting environments. The examples are Google App Engine, Adopt Commerce, etc. Now comes Software as a Service which delivers software applications over the internet on a subscription basis. So users access these applications through a web browser without needing to install or maintain any software locally. Examples include email services, CRM systems, 
and productivity suites like Google Workspace or Microsoft 365. Now, briefly explain the working of GCP. When asked to explain the working of GCP, briefly in an interview, focus on its core principles. So GCP operates by providing a range of cloud computing services over the internet, like storage, computing power, networking, etc. It functions by hosting these services in data centers worldwide and allowing users to access and manage them remotely via an internet connection. You can also mention that GCP's infrastructure is designed for scalability, reliability, and security, enabling businesses to deploy, manage, and scale applications and services efficiently. Additionally, GCP offers various tools and resources for developers, data scientists, and IT professionals to build, deploy, and manage their applications seamlessly. The next question is, what are the services offered by GCP? As already mentioned in some answers, the services include compute, storage, networking, and databases. You can also highlight specialized services like machine learning, big data analytics, and IoT, Internet of Things solution. Finally, emphasize GCP's unique features, such as its global network infrastructure and advanced security capabilities. So let's move on to the next question. What is a bucket in cloud storage? So a bucket in cloud storage refers to a container or folder-like structure used to store data within a cloud storage service, such as Google Cloud Storage. Think of it as a virtual storage container where you can store files, objects, or data. Buckets are typically used to organize and manage data within a cloud storage environment. They allow users to store and retrieve data efficiently, and they often come with features for managing access permissions, versioning, and lifecycle policies. Overall, buckets play a fundamental role in organizing and managing data within cloud storage system. Now let's see what's the next question. How can information in cloud be safeguarded? So start by highlighting encryption methods to protect data, both in transit and at rest. Discuss robust access control measures like Identity and Access Management, IAM, to ensure only authorized users can access sensitive information. Mention regular security audits and compliance checks to maintain a secure environment. Emphasize the importance of choosing reputable cloud service providers with strong security protocols in place. Finally, you can mention the significance of user education and awareness to prevent data breaches due to human error. Now, what do you know about GKE? So explain that GKE stands for Google Kubernetes Engine. It is a managed service by Google Cloud Platform for deploying, managing, and scaling containerized applications using Kubernetes. Talk about its benefits such as automatic scaling, seamless integration with other GCP services, and simplified container orchestration. While also highlight your understanding of its role in modern cloud native application development and deployment. The next question they can ask is what is the pricing model of GCP? So in answering the question about the pricing model, you can explain that GCP follows a pay-as-you-go model, where users are charged only for the resources they consume. Additionally, GCP offers various pricing options, including permanent billing, sustained use discounts, and committed use discounts, allowing users to optimize costs based on their usage patterns and commitments. It's important to highlight GCP's transparent pricing structure and flexibility in accommodating diverse business needs. Now, what is Compute Engine? You can say that Compute Engine is a core infrastructure as a service offering within Google Cloud Platform. It provides users with virtual machine instances running on Google's infrastructure, allowing them to deploy and manage scalable computing resources in the cloud. So Compute Engine offers flexibility, reliability, and high performance for various workloads, ranging from small projects to large-scale applications. Additionally, you can also mention its integration with other GCP services and the ability to customize instances based on specific requirements. So let's move on to the next question. What is the default bucket location if we do not specify a location constraint? So when asked about the default bucket location in Google Cloud Storage, if no location constraint is specified, you can respond by stating that the default location is a United States multi-region. This means that if you create a bucket without specifying a location, it will be stored in a multi-region location within the United States, ensuring redundancy and reliability across multiple data centers in that region. Now, what libraries and tools are provided by GCP? When addressing this question about libraries and tools, you can mention a variety of libraries and tools available within Google Cloud Platform. Some notable libraries include Google Cloud Client Libraries for various programming languages such as Python, Java, and Go, which provide convenient access to GCP services. 
Additionally, there are specialized libraries like TensorFlow for machine learning tasks and Apache Beam for data processing. Regarding tools, emphasize widely used ones like Google Cloud Storage for scalable object storage, BigQuery for analytics, Cloud Functions for serverless computing, and Kubernetes Engine for container orchestration. By highlighting these libraries and tools, you'll demonstrate familiarity with GCP's robust ecosystem, showcasing your readiness to leverage them effectively in your projects or tasks. Now, what is a project in GCP and how to create one? So in Google Cloud Platform, a project is a container for resources such as virtual machines, storage buckets, databases, and more, allowing you to organize and manage your cloud services effectively. So to create a program in GCP, you typically start by logging into the GCP console, then navigate to the IAM and admin section and select projects. From there, you can click on create project, provide a name and optional description, and configure any necessary settings. Once created, you can begin provisioning and managing resources within your GCP projects to support your specific use case or application. Now, let's move on to the next question, which is what is Google Cloud SDK? You can say that Google Cloud SDK is like a toolbox provided by Google. It helps developers manage and interact with Google Cloud Platform services using commands in the computer's terminal or command prompt. It's handy for tasks like deploying apps, managing resources, and assessing cloud services. Now, what are objects in GCP? So start by explaining that objects in Google Cloud Platform typically refer to data entities stored in cloud storage services like Google Cloud Storage. So emphasize that these objects can be anything from files to multimedia content, and they are stored with unique identifiers within buckets, which are analogous to folders. Also highlight the versatility of objects as they can be accessed, manipulated, and shared across various GCP services, facilitating seamless data management and integration within cloud environments. So, what are the various methods for authentication of GCE API? You can mention several methods, after which you can start explaining each, including service account authentication. So, this involves creating and using service accounts in Google Cloud Platform to authenticate API requests. So, service accounts are associated with projects and can be granted specific permissions. 2.0 authentication. 2.0 is a standard protocol used for authorization. GCE API supports 2.0 for authentication, enabling users to obtain access tokens and authentication API requests. The next one is API key authentication. Now, API keys are unique identifiers that developers can generate to authenticate access to GCE API endpoints. This method is often used for accessing public data or resources that don't require user-specific permissions. Identity Aware Proxy Authentication so Google Cloud's Identity Aware Proxy allows administrators to control access to GCE API endpoints based on user identity and context. Users authenticate through Google Identities and IAP verifies these accesses before allowing API requests. Moving on to the next question, what is load balancing? So load balancing in GCP involves distributing incoming network traffic across multiple servers to ensure optimal resource utilization minimize downtime, and maximize performance. Emphasize that GCP's load balancing services automatically adjust to varying levels of traffic, helping to maintain stability and reliability for applications and services hosted on GCP infrastructure. You can also mention that GCP offers various load balancing options, including HTTPS load balancing, TCP SSL proxy load balancing, and network load balancing, each tailored to specific use cases and requirements. Now, coming to the next question, what is Cloud PubSub? So Cloud PubSub is a fully managed messaging service offered by Google Cloud Platform. You can describe its functionality as a scalable and reliable system for real-time message ingestion and delivery between applications and services. Highlight its key features such as asynchronous communication, durable storage, and support for event-driven architecture. You can emphasize its role in enabling decoupled, scalable, and resilient cloud-native applications. Finally, mention its benefits in terms of flexibility, scalability, and ease of integration with other GCP services. Now, coming to our last question, what is Google BigQuery? So, Google BigQuery is a fully managed serverless data warehouse solution provided by Google Cloud Platform. It allows users to run SQL-like queries against large data sets quickly and efficiently. Emphasize its scalability, real-time analytics capabilities, and seamless integration with other Google Cloud services. 
And there you are, the top 20 GCP interview questions that you can definitely expect in your interview. We have given an overview of each of the topics. But make sure while you answer the questions during an interview, try explaining the concepts in your own words so that you can portray your communication skills. Also, mention real-time examples according to your experience. So I hope you found this video informative. If you like this video, do not forget to subscribe and give us a thumbs up. You can also check out other videos on this topic from our channel for your preparations. Thanks for watching and we wish you the best of luck for your interviews. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.